Okay, so we're going to take a look at a game I played a few days ago on chess.com and I had the white pieces and it was a French defense. I played the knight of three variation and here I pushed the pawn, which is still book. Here the most common move should be c5. But my opponent went bishop c5, which is already a mistake, and it gives white a pretty decent advantage. And after d4, which is the best move, the bishop has to retreat. And here I played a b4, because in the French defense, you want to play pawn to c5 at some point to get some counterplay. So I'm stopping that. And, well, the bishop on d3 is probably the best um, square for the bishop. Bishop to d7, which, okay, this is the problem bishop in the French defense, so... I guess my opponent didn't want to castle early and possibly get attacked at the beginning of the game. So I just reinforce the pawns on b4 and d4. h6, which I guess he was worried for about a knight or a bishop coming to g5. So I just continue developing my pieces. And here, this is something that I would tell my students not to play because you want to get the break f6 or c5 at some point. Now here, you can't really play c5 because I would just take the pawn. But you might want to play c6 and bring the bishop back and then try to prepare c5 with uh, pawn to b6 first so I don't know about putting the knight there in front of the pawn so I just try to control a little bit um, on the queen side the, the squares uh, a5 and uh, c5 now my opponent castles but he's already push the pawn to h6 so this is risky to say the least and if you look at the computer evaluation it's plus two so I went uh, bishop e3 I also thought that um, bishop c2 was a very interesting idea and you know after bishop c2 there's ideas of Queen d3 with the obvious checkmating threat on h7, so he has to play knight g6 or pawn to g6 or f5. King h8. I do not understand this move at all because it's not really helping. I mean, maybe he wants to go rook to g8 and then push the g pawn. Uh, I don't really see anything else besides that specific idea. So I continue with my plan. The idea is that I may sacrifice the bishop uh, for the two pawns. So he goes knight to f5. And I just take it. And, well, the computer says it's a brilliant move. So I guess it, it must be. The point is that you cannot take it because, well, if you do, then after queen takes, the threat is, let's make a random move checkmate so the only way to stop that is 
definitely sacrificing the coin, but now, I mean, the material is just too much, and I mean, this is more science. So, in this position, my opponent tried to defend with knight to e7, and I thought about taking the pawn on g7, but I just thought, well, why not just bring the bishop back? And apparently queen g5 was a much better move, but I mean, it is a blitz game, so in a five-minute game, you can't really play the most accurate moves all the time. But yeah, queen g5 is a really strong move. It threatens checkmate, and now I don't really understand the point of this move, but then again, I don't really have any better suggestions for black. So I trade and push the pawn instead of castling because. Well, I think my king is pretty safe, considering that the position is pretty closed. And after I castle queenside, yeah, I don't like this move at all, because now my knight gets to be centralized. And now, considering that this is a French defense, it's ironic that the light scored bishop is probably better than uh, the dark score bishop, which is doing absolutely nothing. And my knight is just so much better than any of the bishops. So he tries to defend with rook f6, maybe try to bring the other rook into the game. I just keep pushing the pawn. And here I was starting to look at ideas of maybe a knight g6 check or knight f7 check. So the rook goes to h6 to stop me from pushing the pawn and just taking on g7 and really exposing black's king to a pretty ruthless attack. Here, I didn't want to give up the exchange by taking on, I mean by, yeah, by checking because, okay, yes, I'm forking the king and queen, but he is pretty much has to give up the exchange. And after this, uh, again, it's a five minute game, so it's not so clear how to Proceed. I mean, there, there's like no checkmate, and if the position begins to open up, then the two bishops can really give white a lot of trouble because the rooks are obviously more valuable, so the bishops can start to harass the, the rooks. So I didn't, that's why I didn't went for this because I thought, well, if I don't evaluate the position the position correctly then it's not gonna be great for white so instead I went with this move work to e1 with the obvious threat of knight to g6 check and I'm gonna win the queen and here he blocks with the bishop, but here I have a really good move. Um, you can pause the video and try to see if you can find it, or you might have just seen the engine's uh, first choice, which is to sacrifice the queen. Queen takes check, and after the recapture, knight check, and you get the queen back. So now I'm just up a rook and 
I mean, this move is not that great. But there is no way to recapture the knight. So that's, I mean, after king f6, the knight comes back and what is just completely winning. So after knight to f5, my opponent resigned. So I thought it was a pretty nice game. And uh, thank you for watching.